Hi, I'm Kim Newman, and welcome to this Midnight Movies screening of the extended, restored version of Fritz Lang's 1927 silent science fiction masterpiece, Metropolis. Metropolis was almost the first big, iconic science fiction film. Um, it actually <laughs> began a, a trend in science fiction films that's been observable in the likes of oh, Blade Runner, 2001, uh, even Avatar, in that um, the original director thought it should be longer than the studio thought it should be. Uh, and so at some point, large chunks of it were hacked out. It's only through a bizarre miracle uh, that this longer version turned up um, on a forgotten shelf in a film store in Argentina. Um, and I think it actually changes my feeling about this film. I think this is a, a much better or an even better and even richer movie than we always thought it was. The general wisdom about Metropolis since the late 1920s is that it has amazing set pieces, uh, the, the creation of the robots, the uh, underground workers toiling in the vast machine, but that its story and its characters were sort of stupid. For um, pretty well, you know, coming on for 80 years, we've not actually known what was going on in this film. Now at least we can follow the plot. Um, and also the hero isn't quite the twit uh, that he seemed to be in the shorter version because he gets a, a big action scene towards the end. Why you would cut the best action scene out of your big spectacular movie in order to try and make it more commercial is the sort of thing that... Uh, is beyond my uh, understanding now. If I had to sum up this uh, movie, Metropolis, in a, in a few words, it, it would be visionary, apocalyptic, uh, gothic, erotic, strange, epic, with a, with a wonderful final cataclysm. Even the, uh, the, the American reviewers at the time were surprised at how sexy Metropolis was. Um, uh, the, the, the woman who starts the revolution, in fact, the robot who starts the revolution in this, does so through the means of erotic dance. And that sequence uh, drives the ruling and then the lower classes of Metropolis into a, a, a frothing frenzy. Uh, is still, I think, a fairly astonishing piece of cinema.